Hello, Bill speaking. Hey, Bill, this is Bobby Marks from Voices of Extreme. Hey, how's it going, dude? What's up, dude? Uh, it's all good, sir. We're hurricane free. Yeah, you know what? I'm amazed. We, we, we didn't think these shows were going to happen when, when we saw what was coming. But thank God everybody got through it. There's a lot of debris all over the road and piled up, and the guys seem to be working pretty good clearing everything up. You know? Yeah, yeah, everything's really good. So, um, so what's up? You guys, uh, you guys at the venue yet? Well, uh, no, we don't go till 4:30. Ah. We're still at the hotel, but we did a drive-by this morning, and uh, we're looking forward to playing the uh, the Parker Playhouse, man. Yeah, this is a really, really great venue. It's kind of a little old-fashioned inside but that's what gives it class man it's a it's a the acoustics are phenomenal well I'll tell you uh, we've this is our second leg with Tesla we've been out with them for a while and yeah. the venues that we're playing are the bigger older retro theaters and smaller arenas and they've all been great we played the Atlanta Symphony Hall the other night in Atlanta Georgia and it was amazing so yeah all these rooms sound amazing you could tell when you walk into an empty room you can tell they're gonna sound amazing you know yeah definitely <laughs> All right, so, so you got time to, uh, to do like a quick five-minute interview? Sure, man. Yeah, we can use, even though the show is tonight, we can definitely use it to uh, promote the rest of the tour in all the other cities. Uh, we'll put links to your website and for Tesla up on, the, uh, up on the interview page as well. Sure, I'll give you anything you want. If my phone, I'm down to 14%. If somehow we get cut off, yeah. you, I'll call you back as soon as my phone charges. I'll give it like five minutes to charge, so I'm, I'm good. No worries. I'm really quick. So, so to start off, um, at, at what point in your life did you know that you wanted to make music for a living? When I was about seven years old. Mm. That was it for me. I was classic pots and pans, hat boxes, everything else, and I wouldn't shut up, and I was, you know, a uh, rambunctious kid, and then my mother made the mistake of taking me to see Cool and the Gang when I was about 10 years old, nice. and that was it, and then it went from there. You know, I had very supportive parents, and my mother would make sure she took me to Broadway, and she took me all over, and you know, it was great. That's just how it is. It's it's your, it's your it's just your 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 average story of a drummer. You're born to play. You play. That's it. And then you go see a live act, and you see how it how it's done. You know, the point that you can get to. You want to get there. You yeah. want to get there. You know. So that's where we are. That's where I'm at. Anyway. Now, now, who were some of the bands you were listening to at the time that that inspired you? Grand Funk. Yes. Chicago. Uh huh. Led Zeppelin. Of course. Um, Motown. You know, I was, you know, we drive around now on some of these drives, and, and the station that we're listening to in our vehicles is XM Radio yeah. 70s channel, because in the 70s was when all that, all those great singer songwriters and all those great Motown hits really were, it was just incredible. Yep. That, that, that on that was the glue. That on top of the bands I just named, just to name a few, and then Led Zeppelin, and then came the Van Halen thing. Yeah. And once Van Halen hit, it was just, oh my God, that is it. That is what needs to be done. Now, as far as um, Van Halen, are you a David Lee Roth or a Sammy Hagar kind of guy? Well, I, you know, I, I like them I both. We just had this conversation, and I gotta tell you, I love them both. I think they both made incredible records. Um, the way Van Halen changed mid midstream to go t to do the music they did with Sammy, as opposed to what they were doing with you know from 1984 to what was the first record with Sammy? Oh, you eight one two? Yeah. Okay, from those two records, sounded like the same band but different. Yeah. And look, the best show I've ever seen, the best concert I've ever been to in my life was Van Halen's 1980 Invasion Tour. Oh, I hate Forget you. it. That's what. That's it. So you know, that's it. But you know, I saw Sammy with Van Halen a lot, and the songs were just killer. So yeah. I, I really have to say both. But I'm really a David Lee Roth fan. You know. You're a purist. Yes. Amen. Now, yes. now, now, as a as 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 a drummer, are you self-taught, or did you take any lessons at any time? I studied with Bobby Rondinelli, nice. Joe Franco, uh, a guy named Jimmy Carroll. Uh, and recently I took a few lessons with, um, with Bernard Purdy. And um, 
because I wanted to add a little grease to my playing. You know what I mean? I, sure. You know, I knew it was in there, but I needed somebody to look at me and bring it out. So I spent, you know, a few a few lessons with Bernard Purdy recently. I was I was playing with Flavor Flav and a nine piece band behind him. Wow. And it just took my playing to the next level. It really, I had to not reinvent myself. I had to really focus on things that you don't have to focus on playing hard rock. Yeah. You know, all the intricacies and all the all the all the all the grace notes and everything just to just to grease up the band. And that's why I went to uh, I went to uh, Bernard Purdy and spent some time with him. And it, it just really opened my eyes to a lot of things. So I, I am self-taught. I'm a I'm a terrible student, <laughs> terrible student. I will sit there for two hours in a lesson and steal as much as I can from my teacher. There you and go. Make it my own. Nothing that's wrong with it. that. <laughs> yeah, I studied for a long time with Bobby Roninelli. Before that, Joe Franco, who obviously you know from uh, from Widowmaker and, and stuff like that with uh, with Dee Snider. Hey, we do the same thing as as guitar players. You know, we steal a lick from the next guy. You know, if you're not a good thief, you're not a good player. <laughs> and, and 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 speaking of teachers, um, our photographer, his guitar teacher, is uh, Chris Rizzola. From? He, he's from he's from uh, Voices of Extreme. Oh really? He's from one of the old lineups. Yeah, exactly. From the uh, the 2011 to 14 lineup. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's strange because we talk about that 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 all the lineups that Donnie had as Voices of Extreme. Yeah. The stripped down, three piece, straight in your face, Grand Funk on steroids. Yeah. Is the best lineup he's ever mm -hmm. had, and we are rolling every night, bro. This, nice. We are connecting. I mean, there is no music industry right now. We know the state of the music industry. Everybody who knows knows that it's 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 been destroyed. It's this and that. But I will tell you this: mm -hmm. I have never in my life been in an original band, and I've been in a lot of them. And I've toured all over the world. That their music is connecting with very big audiences yeah. every night. Yeah. And it's noticeable. You'll see it at the show. You'll know what I mean. You feel positive energy coming off that stage from the minute we hit until our last note. From the downbeat to the last note, it's all positivity without going out of our way to do so. It's just coming at you, man. It's high, really positive, high energy. Whoa. Well, we're certainly looking forward to seeing you tonight again at the Parker Playhouse along yes. with Tesla. And um, I'll, I'll see you in a little bit, man. Awesome. And by the way, I must say this, that Tesla are some of the finest gentlemen that we've ever been around. They've been totally cooperative. They've gone out of our way to make us be comfortable. They're very, very good. And the bottom line is those guys live, eat, and breathe the music. They go out and kick your ass every night with hit after hit after hit after hit. By the time you're done, you're, you're tired because they're so good. Awesome, you know man. I can't wait. I can't wait. I've never actually seen either one of you uh, perform live before, so very oh, excited a, to have we, these we two amazing on, we, bands we, together. We go on first, and there's a middle band, Weapons of a Noose, so you'll see them too. Awesome, man. Sounds great.